Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. I am your host, John Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day, Lord God, Lord. And you said in your word that men are always to pray and not faint. And if we faint in the day of adversity, our strength is small. So, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would just um, bless on today's podcast, Lord God, Lord, bless the hearers, Lord, bless the listeners, Lord, that are hearing this podcast, Lord. We pray, Lord God, Lord, that that souls would be saved, backsliders reclaimed, sanctified believers, Lord, those that are not, um, that are um, still sick in body, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would touch, Lord God, Lord, heal for your glory, Lord, and once again, Lord, bless today's podcast, Lord God, Lord, and Lord, just Bless the hearers, Lord, that they may receive your engrafted word that is able to save and keep safe. And whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord. And we ask all these things in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to today's uh, broadcast. And this is The Way to Eternal Life coming to you over all the major podcast stations. We appreciate, once again, for how God is blessing, how God is um doing a great work in in these last and evil days and like like we oftentimes say we don't want to get lukewarm well what is lukewarm we don't want to remain neutral we want to god wants us to be on fire for him or not so i'd rather be the one that be on fire for him so at this time um we do have a beautiful selection and afterwards um we'll be right back with today's message. We appreciate you all. May the Lord bless and keep you on today's broadcast. So pray that this song will be a blessing. God bless you.
will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum listenership. So what you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. Amen, amen, amen. Well, we appreciate God for that wonderful selection. Um, at this time, um, we're going to continue our sermon um, entitled uh, "God Deals." God is dealing. God is dealing directly. I'm sorry. God is dealing directly with our special speaker, uh, Pastor Lee Hampton. Um, from the Church of God in Jackson, Michigan. Um, we hope that the last previous um, episode was a blessing to you. We pray that this particular sermon, um, that the, as we continue on today, that it will um, that it will be a blessing to you. So at this time, um, we're going to go ahead and um, turn the turn the rest of this broadcast over to our special speaker. Pastor Lee Hampton, we pray that um, what he has, to sh- what he's continuously sharing with you, will be a blessing. So may the Lord bless and keep you. Now here is Pastor Lee Hampton. So not always. See, God's the three. He said, "I appreciate you, Enoch, you raised the right. I appreciate you, Methuselah. I appreciate all those great fathers of theirs that were godly men." He said, "I appreciate all of y'all. I appreciate this, that, and the other, but." On the third verse, it said, God said. Not no, not Methuselah, not Enoch, not that. No, God said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. For he also is flesh. Let me go down there and see what's going on here. Well, if you look at, my God, God dealt directly with Noah. He dealt directly in that time. God himself came and checked it out. And God is dealing directly today. Just go with me. Just go with me. I'm taking my time this morning. Pray with me. It said it shall also be as the days of Lot. You have to understand Lot's calling got Lot's time. Nephew of Abraham. Abraham and his uh, uh, servants, they were getting into it. He said, you choose which way you want to go. You choose which way you want to go. I'll go the opposite. Lot, if you go that way, your hurts me, I'll go the other. Let there be peace between us. It's a good God fearing saint there. A yes. good God fearing saint always want peace. Amen. They're not arguing for their way, they want peace. Amen. Peace between. That's all I want. Is peace between. Lot saw the well water. You better pray through before you make decisions. That's right, brother. He saw the well water, plains, this, that, and the other. Sodom and Gomorrah was down there. Okay. Mm-hmm. He ended up going down there. First, he pitched his tent towards it. Right. Be careful where you pitch your tent. Yes. yes. Right. Then he began to go down there. Then he ended up in it. Well, when he was down there, it got so wicked that God said, Mm-mm, I'm going. Oh my God. I'm going. I'm not saying I'm going. That's deep. God, my God, the heavenly realm came down to earth. And the heavenly realm came down to earth. And you know how wicked they were? Yeah. They were trying to get the heavenly realm. Right, right. Lot said, here, here. Take my you have more grace than I got. I ain't messing my daughter. Please. No, I didn't get my daughter. Here, take my daughters. He said, Well, one tip. See, you can tell when somebody's driven by spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Driven by spirit. Here these young people, and we don't want them. So God went down there directly. The heavenly realm went down to Sodom and Gomorrah. Go over to Luke 21 now. Go over two verses, two chapters. This is verse 17. 21, 11. Gentlemen, prophecy, pray for us. Pray for us, Bless the Lord. Great earthquakes of the entire place. He's still doing it. 
we still deal with great earthquakes, the diverse places, not just places where the pilots and the and the uh, uh, here's the earth is underground. There's a separate. It's going to be a diverse places, places they can't account for. Mm -hmm. We've seen it. Read and famine and famines and pestilence and pestilence and fearful stop, sight. Stop. The Greek. We got to pull in the Greek. Pestilence. Plague. Pestilence is a plague. Disease that's far spread. Pandemic. Are y'all ready? Come on, brother. Bring it out. Bring it out. Pandemic. Yes. When man's intervention can't stop. Yes. If it was simply a disease, but man had the ingenuity to say, here's this vaccine. It ain't coming on our shores. We got enough money. It's not good. That's an old. Right. I'm going to speak. Right. I'm going to get to them. There's going to be some things they can't account for. There's going to be some things they can't stop. I don't care how much money they got. I don't care how advanced they think their society is. And I don't care what nation it is. Because God is not discriminate. He cares about everybody. He's not the God of America. He cares about pagan Asia. He cares about false religion, compromised Europe. He cares about my God bachelor in America. God said, I will reach all of them with this pestilence, all of them with this disease, all of them with this pandemic. I'm going to shut stuff down. God is doing that right way. All right. My God, my God. He's doing all that he can. He's been being his Preach, brother. brother. He's using the word as well as Mother Nature. God is doing directly. God is speaking to this world one more time. In mercy. And this lets you know it's right before the end because the prophetic visual was right before the end of the Noah's time. The word went out. It went out. It went out. It went out. But then the prophetic visual. Bring it out, brother. The signs, the animals coming, the door shut by itself. That should be enough right there, my God. He said, last I got is to, I'm going to give you my word, and then I'm going to back up my word. Come on. Amen, amen. That's all I got. God is speaking. Oh, Lord. I'm going to tell you how this is challenging. Well, because Sinners, your days of excuses are over. Amen. This is serious. God is dealing with sinners directly. Those that are not blasphemed, went too far. They can sense God is dealing directly. Well, we're talking to your brother, give you an example. God is making sinners deny him to his face. That's right. Oh, saints, y'all got to get with me this morning. This is heavy on my heart. Bless the Lord. It was a time in which when a person wanted to get with somebody, have a relationship with them, mm -hmm. they would say stuff like, uh, if the other one didn't want one. So they would say, hey, can we go out tonight? No, you know I got homework. Right. Okay, uh, the next week. Hey, uh, uh, can, we go, can we go out tonight? Uh, can we, you know my parents in town. He tried again later this two weeks later. Hey, can I uh can we go out? Can we can we hang out tonight? Can we, can we you know what I got a headache? He's telling the truth. Well, that's how God has been dealing with man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's been dealing with your children. Come get saved. Come get saved. Well, you know what? Uh 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 you know what? I go to the casino every night. Well, you know what? Will you come get some uh, well, it, it, it's, it's too much pleasure in sin. Well, you know what? Uh, 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 come to say, well, you know what? I can't because, you know what? I, 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 uh, I like to, uh, 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 I go to the uh, clubs. I go. Well, eventually, mm -hmm. God now is saying, I'm coming directly to you. Straight to the face. Do you want me or not? Everything you said, I've taken it away. I shut down. I shut down this. Right, the pleasure of sin, saints, is gone. Listen, I'm telling you, 
The place of sin is gone. Oh, the days in which it used to be, it's over with. I'm telling you, ask those that are out there. The real pleasure of sin is he in mercy has taken the pleasure out of sin. Now you just out there. Now you just back. Young people killing themselves. Hey, them is all over the place. Can't go outside. At home, miserable. This thing, yeah. The place, I'm taking it away. My God. Yeah, I'm taking it away. The movie house, I'm taking it away. I'm taking it away. My God. You, you, you caught me in this idolatrous sports world. I'm shutting that down. I'm shutting it down. Yeah. Now I'm coming to you directly. Do you want me or not? Do you want me or not? It's me and you. Do you want me or not? They're not me to my face. Because it ain't about all the stuff you're talking about. You just don't want me. Just tell me straightly, I don't want you. Because all your excuses, I remove them out the way. I come. I'm dealing directly with your children. I'm dealing directly. One after another, those that are getting saved, this thing wasn't the message, it wasn't this thing the other. God has been dealing with me directly. Removing all my excuses. I come. Removing everything that I used to say, I'm removing all that out the way. That's why he said over there. I did this, I did that, I did the other. He said, you know what? When I get done, prepare. Prepare to me like I already got. I dealt with you directly. It wasn't about no man. It wasn't about this and the other. I kept you up at night. I gave you drink. I was dealing with you directly. Over in Proverbs, he said, because I called. I. Ah, yes. I. Y'all get this? Yes. He said, because I called. Yes. No, no, they didn't preach the message. If you didn't preach on this and that. No, I didn't leave it to no preacher. I dealt with you directly. That's because it. I called to him. I knew your number. He may not have knew your number. He might have said a priest on this when he said it at this. So I called you directly. Right, Bring it out, brother. You I stretched out my hand. I stretched out my hand to you. I should have let you go. I should have kept dealing with you. I should have been and messed you. I should have turned my back on you a long time ago. Right, brother. Amen. But I stretched my hand out. Put forth extra effort. Extra effort in mercy. In mercy. Extra effort. That's what it was when you were dealing with the son. Mm. Judas, Judas, he said, hold on. I'm not going to tell John, he said, he said, the one that I give the sight to, God dealt with that. So here you go. In mercy. Sight is mercy. It represents God touching you, showing you his love. America, God is extending the sight. Amen. World, God is extending the sight. I'm dealing directly the sight. Joel chapter 2, backslide. Come on, read. God is dealing directly. Last night, you had another backslide to come and get saved. Amen. Last night, late to the night. Amen. Called yesterday morning, somebody sent him a clip of some message way down in Florida somewhere. He said, You got a minute? I said, Yeah. He said, I was up, listening to call first thing in the morning. One of time to wake up, his message. So we had we had to have a, a Bible study on divorce when you were here. Mm. Amen. Early in the morning, my God. Instant in season, out of season. Yes, sir. You gotta go go down through there. So what about my wife? I, I did this, that, the other. How do I deal with this? We went through the word of God. Amen. Went through the word of God. Amen. He said, Okay, okay. And uh he said, I get back with you. I didn't know what was going on. I said, maybe that divorce from the marriage message was a little bit yes. heavy. He said, I get back with you. I said, hey, amen, I love you, man, but I got to give you the word. You yes, called me, I can call yes, you. Yes. Hey, amen, I got to give you the word, hey, amen. Came down to the church, been there for a while, and I was studying on the backslider. And the Holy Ghost said, call. Mm. I'm going to show you how God is still a direct amen. I called. I said, hey, I'm about to go to prayer for you. How should I pray? He said, I'm praying right now. I'm trying to get a breakthrough. Mm. Amen. Amen. Right. Glory to God. God. His children used to go forth in Georgia singing. All the boys, they were singing. The daughter wanted. Oh, they were singing. They were doing this, that, and the other. All that. I said, brother, now that you got back in, he said, I broke through. He broke through for glorious. He got saved. Amen. 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 Thank God. And who preached the message? God. Who did the altar work? God. Man, God is doing the right thing. God is doing the right. This is what God is doing right through here. And you know why it's saying God gave this to you? It's because the end time has to be glorious. Yes. God don't share his glory. Come on. Any man that tries to tell you they don't bring the glory, work for them. Don't have nothing to do with them. Because this is too much for a man. This is about God. God's going to get all the glory. That's why God is doing the work. Amen. Joel 2, 2, uh, Joel, Joel 2, verse 14, read. 
God is dealing directly in mercy. One more time. Yes. Come on, read it. Who knoweth? Who will repent? Yes. Return. Let Joel two fourteen. Yeah. Important. Yeah. Yes. That was good too. Who knoweth? If he will return and repent. Two twelve. Two twelve. Sorry. Therefore also now. Yes. Says the Lord. Yes. Turn ye even to me. Uh huh. With all your heart. Who said this? Yeah. The Lord. God is doing saints. Yes. Saints, don't give up on the backsliders. Right through here, you're going to see backsliders coming back in, in mercy. In mercy. God is taking away all that they were involved in that was keeping them out. God is taking away the joy from it. God is taking away the uh, uh, the pleasure they had in it. Yes. God also is giving them a little bit of hope. See, every person that gets saved gives the next person a little bit of hope. Yes. Yes. Come on. Right. My, my, yes. Saved. Yeah. I was on the back row. I, I was on the wall. I wanted to be saved. I was ready to get saved. I tried sin. And what I did not want, saints, I did not want to be that saint child that lived my whole life, messed it up, mm -hmm. and say, man, I wish I would have would have got saved so then I could have at least prayed with my children. At least I could have been my parents. Could I, I could have been with them. I said, I don't want to be that. I see I don't want to be that same child that wait to the end, either don't get in, or get in, but say, man, I wish I'd have gotten right. Why I met? And I was right there at a point in life where God in mercy was saying that, you make your move right now. You make your move right now. You, you make your move, don't delay. You make your move right now, there's some hope for you. And listen to what God is saying to every same child, every backslider. He's saying directly to them. Come on, read, brother. Therefore also now. Yes. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Turn ye even to me. Turn ye even unto me. With all your heart. Come all the way. Don't come halfway. Don't play no games with it. Read. And with fasting. Come on and read. And with weeping. My mind. And with mourning. Yes. And rid your heart. Rid your heart. And not your garment. And not your garment. And turn unto the Lord your heart. Rid your heart. In other words, come on the inside. Yes. Don't just come up to the altar. No, we ain't got time for that. You ever seen that when somebody come to the altar and they cry and say, you don't even see him again. We know God said, I have no time for that right through here. I'm dealing with you. Don't come up right after prayer. Don't come up and say, I'm not saved. And we don't see you again. Don't come up and say, I'm giving up all. But you leave here doing the same thing you was doing before. Bring your heart, not your garment. Yeah. Not on the outside. Get down on the business on the yeah. inside. Let your heart know, I'm sorry, God. I'm done, God. On the inside, I'm done with sin. Forgive me, God. Yeah. Right, God. Amen. I feel Amen. horrible. Right. I feel horrible about the sins I've committed. I feel horrible about the years I spent out there messing up my life, my children's life, my family's life, my man's life, my parents' name. I'm just tired. God, I'm sorry, man. Breathe. Raise your heart and not your garment. Yes. And turn unto the Lord your God. Turn unto the Lord your God. Yes. For he is We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com. Once again, that is contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.way to eternallife.com or like us on Facebook at Way to Eternal Life 53. Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuous episodes. And now, here is John Gill with the final thoughts. Here is Pastor Lee Hampton with the final thoughts. The altar is open. You can kneel at your seat. You feel too. You want to come up to the altar? It's time to come home. It's time to come home. God is dealing with you. It's not about this message. But if God is already dealing with you, kneel right now and make business with God. Come up right now. Right now. Don't even th don't wait on your neighbor. Don't look at your wife. Don't look at you. If there's things you need to tighten up with God. Let's come to the altar now. The prayer room is to my left. We can go in there. We'll pray with you. You can come up to the altar. We'll pray with you. If you want a special prayer, you can come and stand. But this time, God is dealing directly with man. As he's spoken to you this morning, will you come? Tune in if you kneel. 
Thank you, Lord, for mercy. Let's step out. Let's step out right now. Let's step out. Say, Lord, I'm surrendering. Lord, I'm giving all. Lord, here I am. Jesus. All in. Since the Spirit of God moving at such a level, such a level. After the service, one of the saints' children came to the office. Broken. 
I hadn't seen that level of conviction on them. I think maybe over 10 years. And I felt they were right there. Right there. And I'm still very hopeful. I feel the same way this morning. I just feel it's not about the service. I believe it's about God himself is dealing. There are some that are here that are tuned in. That he's been rearranging stuff in their life. Giving them a void and making that void more pronounced. Giving them a yearning. Giving them actual yearning to want to be. But they're struggling seeing how can I make that happen? How would I deal with it? How? It's not about do I want to be? Yes, he's got me there. I'm there. It's not about I'm so connected to some stuff I got to give up. No, he's already taken that away. He's already taken the desire. I got some habits and stuff that deliverance to deal with. But 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 as far as the desire, that's gone. That's gone. I just need to make the move. So we're just going to just say a prayer. I'm just going to ask everybody just to pray with us. That this spirit is broken. We're going to sing one more verse and we're going to let you go. We've got another crew coming in. Bow your heads with me. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. And Lord, we're so thankful that you're not leaving this end time work to man. That you doing this yourself. It's something unusual. It seems that every day there's a new development of mercy. All the signs, all of the demonstrations, all the prophecies being fulfilled before our eyes. And we just believe that that's mercy as well. We pray you rebuke the devil. You bind the enemy. Spirits that would hold individuals back. They want to be right with God. They want to take a stand. They want to be saved. But they're just dealing with how will it work out how. Lord, inspire their faith. Rebuke the devil. Give them the inspiration to take their move. Make their move. God is here waiting. Like a father saying, son, come. Like a father saying, daughter, come, I got you. Just jump. I'm going to catch you. Just jump. Don't even look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't look down. Just don't jump. I'll catch you, son. I'll catch you, son. Have your way, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. And may God bless and keep you.